Hey everyone, how's it going today? This is Crypto Foxy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about Fetch AI or ASI Crypto, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we can basically call it Fet, we can call it ASI, we can call it whatever you like. Um, but today I did buy a little bit more uh, Fet and uh, reason for my purchase. Uh, sorry about that. My screen went blank there. I'm, I think I'm good. All right. All right. So the reason for my purchase is because I'm still, you know, extremely bullish on this project and this merger. Um, I've been following what FET has been developing for a number of years now. And, you know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I know I took some profits back in March, which was a smart thing to do. I got a little bit of hate for it, but I mean, it is what it is. I was up massively. And if you don't take profits, you're going to lose emotionally. And emotional trading is never a good thing. So what I did was I took profits around the top of FET in March. And um, now what I'm doing, my new plan, uh, I'm still holding the bag that I have, okay? Um, so I'm not touching that. I'm not selling any of it. It's staying where it is, at least until um, we can navigate through the next bull. So obviously, I'll be doing some more profit taking, but it's going to uh, kind of depend on when the next bull starts kind of thing. And uh, so right now, what I am doing is since I took a lot of profits back in March, I'm going to take some of those funds and rotate them back into FET now that it is down below a dollar. Um, so I just did purchase some more today, uh, just under 90 cents. And, uh, you know, I'm going to obviously get back a lot of the coins that I had sold already. And it, it's kind of almost like buying your bag back, but cheaper. So I'm getting a lot of the tokens back that I previously had, but I'm just getting it a lot cheaper um, than when I sold. So it's kind of like I'm gaining. Uh, I still also have, you know, cash on the side for, you know, if I wanted to make more purchases, I've decided I wanted to buy back, you know, at least a, a portion of what I had sold, uh, maybe a fifth of the funds that I had sold. Um, I'm going to reinvest back into FET. So I made my first purchase. This is probably about a third, maybe even a quarter of what I'd had. I'm going to have to do some uh, evaluations there, but uh, I'm going to be making a series of, of buys if my price targets stay met. And reason for that being is dollar cost averaging is a, is a smart thing to do because I could make this purchase at like 88, 89 cents. And then well, what if it goes back down to, you know, 60 cents, that kind of thing? Well, then I have myself covered because I still have funds on the side and I can deploy, I can deploy, deplore them if I so choose. Now, the great thing about taking profits is, is now I have these funds. I'm not going to be as emotional with them. Um, if I don't hit my buy targets, that's okay. I can I can deal with having the bag that I have now and having the new coins that I just purchased today. I can deal with that going through. Um, you know, it allows me to sleep at night. If you don't take profits, you're going to make emotional um, FOMO type trades, and those are never good, right? Um, you know, if I don't get, you know, if we, if we don't see, you know, 70, 60 cents kind of thing, I'm okay with not buying more because I still have a good size position. Um, so that's okay with me. I also bought some H bar today uh, and I'm going to be looking at doing a few more purchases if this, uh, um, obviously if this dip continues, um, but this is, uh, I'm going to show you a chart here. We're going to jump over to trading view, get rid of some of these ads, make sure you guys can see this. Not quite. How about there? Air book there. Okay. So this is the Fetch AI chart on TradingView. Uh, so this is on the day chart right here. Um, so I do have one of my indicators turned on. I'm just going to hide that for a second so we don't have so much on the screen. So this is pretty much my line right here. This is where I think FET could bounce from. Um, obviously, we have it sitting down about 77 cents there. And, you know, if we go back, we zoom out a little bit. We go back, we have some support all through here, right? So this is where I'm getting this line from. And also I'm looking at the uh, the RSI down here. Uh, right now, I'm going to move my uh, myself over just so you guys can see there. Uh, there we go. So the RSI right now, you can see um, in the corner here is at 27. So this is indicating that FET right now is oversold. Um, so what that means is, um, you know, once the RSI dro dro uh, drops down below 30, that can that uh, kind of concludes that the asset could be oversold. So there's too much selling going on. Eventually, it's going to stop and hit bottom and going to have a bit of a correction and, and you know, a rebound is what I mean, and come back up. So we always want it to be, you know, uh, I like... Like 50 and between 50 and 70 is usually fairly safe. Anything above 70 is usually overbought and then we'll see a bit of a correction down. But right now we are looking at a potential move back up. In my opinion, 
Um, obviously, I don't have a crystal ball, guys. And uh, some of this is, you know, we are just kind of, you know, trying to guesstimate um, based on historical data of what's going to happen. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, so I have been following, like I mentioned, FET for a number of years. And uh, jump over here. I just want to point you in a, in a really good uh, reading direction because I'm, I'm constantly reading. I'm constantly learning. Um, I like the Fetch AI blog. I'm just make sure you guys can see that. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, Fetch AI. Uh, fetch.ai slash blog and uh, you can jump on the site at any point you like and read about what they're doing and this is why i'm so bullish on fet um, i know they've merged in in with a um, ajx and ocean protocol into form the asi alliance but you know uh, it, at the very beginning i i'm I invested into FET because of what they're doing and you know just take a moment at some at some point read through these blogs be familiar with what you're investing in because it really does help take some of the emotions that I talk about at a trading. And uh, I think it's a very, very important thing. I mean, they are, they're building in the background. People are saying, you know, we want to know what you're working on. Uh, how come you're not updating us more? Blah, blah, blah. Well, they are actually working and they're doing a very good job of it. And they have been doing this for quite some time now. So, you know, if, the, if you ever are, you know, wondering what it is they're working on, jump into their blog section because they're very good at putting out, you know, technical data and um, not technical data, but technical uh, reasonings and um, ex explanations of what they're doing. And I really like reading into some of those. So that just give you a little bit of peace of mind, give you something to maybe do uh, in this downtime when we are, you know, facing some of these um, drastic price movements that we're noticing right now. So take some of your emotions out of it by learning what you're investing in, and that will help uh, get you through the night, get, make you sleep better, wake up without, you know, panicking and checking the charts kind of thing. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. Obviously, if you guys need to sell, you got to do what you got to do. I'm not telling anybody what to do ever. I will never tell you what to do because it's your money. And that's the beauty of crypto is we can do with it as we wish. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next video.